Hi, I'm James Schillinglaw. I'm here with Michele Sambaldi, who is the Managing Director of Pelicano's Hotel Group here in Italy. And we're going to learn all about this group and more on Insider Travel Report. Now, Michele, uh, first tell us a little bit about Pelicano. So Pelicano Hotel Group is a company uh, made of three properties. Mm -hmm. that, um, one is Hotel Pelicano in the south part of Tuscany. Right. The second one is La Posta Vecchia Hotel that is uh, near Rome. And the third one is the Mezzatore Hotel and Thermal Spa in Ischia. And that's your newest one, right? It's a new one. Yeah. yeah, we started this new adventure in 2019. And the hotel opened, reopened in April. Okay. under our management and we are ready for this new adventure. Now tell me about the original hotel and what and what what it means to the brand the the, the original Pelicano. So Pelicano is uh, the uh, most iconic of the, the, the three hotels I mean and the name of the hotel or the group comes from Pelicano in terms of let the trade and the consumer understand better than the name comes from the, the best property of, of the tree. And it's a property, it made 50 rooms, mm -hmm. and we have the Michelin star inside in one of the two restaurants. We have two bars and the, the property is in front of the sea. And there is a main building and all around there are cottages that can host our guests. Yeah, so actually, and that is a point that all of your properties are by the sea. They're, they're all uh, on the Mediterranean, right? Yeah, we are on the Mediterranean and the Tyrrhenian Sea. Okay. And all the three properties are seasonal, open from April to October. And especially Pelicano is the, a destination. I mean, uh, it's a property used by our guests to where they can spend the holidays. Mm -hmm. The length of stay is, uh, uh, tends to be uh, four days and it's, it's a resort. I mean, we don't like, we don't like to use the word resort right. in, uh, in, 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 in internally in the company, but it's the, the, maybe the best way to describe the, the, the tell. Yeah, so that's, that, that's, that's your mothership, the first, the first one. And then you got La Posta Vecchia, and that has an interesting story too. Tell, tell us a little bit about that hotel. Yeah, La, La Posta Vecchia is a 17th century building. It's a small property. We, uh, sometimes we define the boutique hotels, 19 rooms. It was mm, mm, bought in the 60s by Jean Paul Getty, mm -hmm. and he decided to, to buy a property near Rome. And, uh, and he renovated the property together with the famous designer, Italian designer at the time. Mm -hmm. And he decided to bought pieces of art coming from all over the world. Mm -hmm. And it was bought by the Shaw family in, uh, at, the end of, uh, at the beginning of the 80s. Mm -hmm. And it was at, at the beginning the house uh, out of Rome. And then they decided to convert in an hotel because the, uh, they already had an hotel that was Pelicano. Okay. At the beginning, both hotels were part of, Pelicano and Postweca were part of Le Chateau network. Okay. Now, since 2013, we are part of leading hotels. Yeah, leading hotels, uh, so even, even the new one is a leading hotel, right? The Mezzo? Uh, absolutely, yeah. Mezzo Torre. So the, 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 um, we were very excited in, in visiting at the beginning Mezzo Torre because it was a luxury hotel. It was, it was already part of leading hotels. Mm -hmm. It was already part of Virtuoso, uh, Travel Leader, so the, the, it was a very good opportunity for us. Yeah. And so now we have three properties in, in leading hotels and it's something great for us. Well, let's, talk, let's go back to talk about Mezzatore. Tell, tell me a little bit about that property. You said it was already an existing hotel, luxury hotel, but what is the type of building? And, and it's located again on the sea, obviously. Yeah, consider also Mezzatore as a, a very important historical background because it was the main building of the property is, is, was a watchtower mm -hmm. and, and was built in 17th century too. And it's a property very similar to Pelicano in terms of how it, it is built because there is a main building and cottages all around. Mm -hmm. It's a, a very big park. There is a pool, two restaurants and two bars. And our goal is to become and to let Ischia become 
uh, a luxury destination and we want to give our contribution in terms of that, uh, the, uh, the aisle to become, uh, as I see, I can say, a, a new destination also for uh, nationality, like, like US nationalities, right. for example, that used to go, for example, in Costiera Malfitana or Capri and do not know now at the moment Ischia so well. Which may be a more authentic destination, you think? I, I, I consider more authentic, so, and uh, um, there is a lot of work to do in order to help the, the aisle to become ready to accept the new customers or new guests, but I consider it's beautiful from a national point of view, there are a lot of things to do. And then there is the, I mean, the, the thermal water that is something new that we are trying to understand more and more because uh, it's something that we didn't know in the past, especially in our experience of hoteliers. Mm -hmm. And we are trying to focus this, uh, our communication in the future based on all the characteristics that the thermal water has in healing some pathologies or something that uh, also in preventing something that can happen in the, in the future. Well, that's your spa resort now soon. That's what it sounds like. <laughs> At the end, this is our spa resort. Yeah. Uh, you mentioned uh, earlier that uh, what, what percentage of your market comes from the, the U.S. and North America right now? 35% uh, right. consider. In Pelican and Pasta Vecchia is the 35, sometimes the 36. In the past has been also 38. Mm -hmm. And we have very good relationship for uh, in the US, especially with trade. The brand itself is very uh, famous in the US. Mm -hmm. Consider this something we are very proud of is that our m most 50, 55 percent of our business is direct business. So um, our brand is able to attract directly guests and also from US and especially because of, all, because of all the initiatives we have to promote the brand in terms of partnership, co-branding initiatives like the one we had a few, few months ago with matchesfashion.com, for example. Mm -hmm. So we, are, we have an hospitality brand, but we are very open to relationship with um, other sectors like, I don't know, arts, mm -hmm. fashion, or food, uh, cinema, etc., etc. Now, one of the other groups, you said leading hotels, but you're also part of a group, Waterstone, right? Tell us a little bit about that and, and what that's meant to you. We have a very strong relationship with the Waterstone and Marcelo Vasquez. It started in, if I remember well, in 2012 or 13. And the reason of our success in the US is also linked to this relationship we have with the Waterstone. We work together in, they work very well in representing us in all the US. We share all the initiatives, all the plan uh, year by year, and we are very happy about the job we are making together. And the reason of our success is, is also based on how they are able to interact with trade and travel agencies. Yeah, and certainly. Now, the one, I want to close on something that you're, you're kind of a concept, that you gave me a concept for, uh, the, the Grand Tour because uh, you have three properties and uh, tell me a little bit about uh, how you might want Americans to experience the Grand Tour. Yeah, I am ready to promote that, yeah. Okay. Um, so we, we, we define the Grand Tour so like an opportunity that a customer, a direct customer or a travel agency can have in uh, visiting Italy. I mean, now Pelican Hotels is ready, Pelican Hotels Group is ready to offer three different locations for a stay from Tuscany to uh, the Campania, this is the region, uh, the Naples Naples region, yeah. and we are able to offer a, a stay that can end uh, at Posta Vecchia, for example, that right. is so close to Fiumicino. Yeah, so you can really enjoy all these properties and more. Um, Thank you so much for explaining Thank what Pelicano is. Now, uh, where can travel advisors, travel agents go to learn more about Pelicano Hotels? On our website, for example, this is pelicanohotels.com. But if you, on pelicanohotels.com, you, know, you have an, an overview of the, of the company. Fantastic. Again, thank you so much for taking the time to explain Pelican Hotels, all great properties, and we look for more in the future. And of course, with your new Iskia property, sounds amazing. Thank you. Ciao. I'm James Schillinglaw, and this is Insider Travel Report. <laughs>